Desperate to be a celebrity, this woman is using a suspicious substance that promises to keep her beautiful and young beautiful forever, but she is about to learn that it comes at a terrible cost. A person injects an egg yolk with a strange substance inside a syringe. After waiting a while, they notice that a perfect copy of the yolk has been formed inside the egg white. A famous star, Elizabeth Sparkle, gets a star on the Walk of Fame. She poses on it for the cameras, and many people take pictures of the star over the years. As years pass, the glamour fades, and the people begin to walk carelessly over the star, symbolizing Elizabeth's loss of fame. The star becomes forgotten and cracked through the years. In the present, Elizabeth hosts an aerobics show, and after filming, goes to the bathroom. Everyone wishes her a happy birthday on the way, as Elizabeth has just turned 50. Finding the women's room unavailable, she slips into the men's bathroom. While inside a stall, she hears her producer, Harvey, demanding someone to get him a new star for his show, as Elizabeth is too old now. After Harvey leaves, Elizabeth looks at herself in the mirror, realizing she's considered unattractive because of her age. Later over lunch, Harvey tells Elizabeth that this is not personal, and he just wants to give people what they want. Elizabeth is heartbroken. While driving home, she sees workers taking down a billboard with her face on it. During this distraction, she's hit by another car, resulting in a terrible accident. At the hospital, it is revealed that Elizabeth is perfectly fine. When the doctor wishes her a happy birthday, she begins sobbing. The doctor leaves for another patient, but Elizabeth is stopped by a male nurse who begins examining her back. He tells her she can leave but hands her a yellow coat. She notices that he has a purple mark on his hand. Once outside wearing the coat, she finds a flash drive wrapped in paper in the pocket labeled The Substance. She finds a number on the back, and the paper says, It changed my life. Returning home, she finds roses from the company thanking her for her years. She plugs in the flash drive to find an ad for a serum, which promises that with its use, she could have two bodies, one of herself and a younger version of herself, for seven days a week each. She's approached by an old classmate, Fred, who claims she's still the most beautiful girl. She takes his number and feels a bit better about herself. She spends part of the night at a bar and the rest throwing up. As she stares at her tear-stained face in the mirror, she deliberates on whether to try the serum. Eventually convincing herself, she calls the number and is told to write down an address. The next morning, she finds an ad in the newspaper about the aerobics company, already seeking her replacement. Determined to become young again, she opens her package, finds a card with the number 503 on it, and heads to Byron Alley. At the place, she finds a scanner where she uses the card to open the gate. She finds a locker with her package and brings it home. She unboxes an activator and stabilizer for the clone. She looks at herself in the bathroom mirror and injects herself with the stabilizer. At first, she doesn't feel much until she begins to feel dizzy and falls on the floor. She writhes in pain, and her back slits open to reveal a younger, more beautiful version of herself, Elizabeth II. With her consciousness in the new clone, she looks at the slit back of her real self and vomits. Elizabeth II stitches up Elizabeth I and gives her an IV of the food for the original. Elizabeth I is still and silent until she whimpers after the IV is put in her veins. The next morning, Elizabeth II takes a shower while Elizabeth I is still on the bathroom floor. After her shower, she notices a nosebleed and remembers that she has to stabilize. Using a provided long syringe, she extracts spinal fluid from Elizabeth I and injects herself, making herself feel normal again. Elizabeth II finds herself able to do everything she used to do. She heads to the company to audition for the aerobics show. She notices a shiny pink leotard in a display window and auditions wearing it. She introduces herself as Sue. Harvey is happy with Sue as the face of the show and she mentions not being available for seven days, two weeks a month. Harvey tells her that they will work around her schedule as he believes she is perfect for the job. Sue is immediately hired and goes through multiple photo shoots, which she later sees on billboards. With her youth and beauty, Sue enjoys attention and works hard at aerobics to be the best while remembering to stabilize each day. After seven days, Sue attaches a tube to herself and Elizabeth and watches as the blood transfers from her body to Elizabeth's. As soon as the connection is made, Elizabeth comes alive while Sue rests for the week. Elizabeth wakes up groaning as the pain from her slit back comes back to her. She moves Sue off of her and touches her gently as she notices the younger version of herself. Elizabeth, now starving, 
makes herself some eggs. She attaches Sue's food bag to her and goes about her regular life. Elizabeth revisits the company and Harvey approaches her, telling her that he wants to have a drink to say goodbye as he hands her belongings in a gift. Elizabeth plans out the days when she will be Sue and when she will be herself. She waits out the seven days inside her house. Once again, Sue revives and enjoys Elizabeth's house. She begins knocking on the walls, sure that there is a fake wall somewhere, and finds it in the bathroom. She begins breaking and rebuilding the wall, wrecking Elizabeth's house. A knock on the door startles her, and she opens it to find Oliver, a neighbor. But he gets flustered when he sees her beauty. He flirts with her, but she doesn't reciprocate. She returns to her house, and it's revealed that she made a room to hide Elizabeth in. Sue has her first show called Pump It Up, where she performs beautifully. After her show, she plans to celebrate and tells Elizabeth that she won't be out too late. Elizabeth's food bag is almost empty, but Sue still goes out. While Sue is enjoying a night with a young man at their house, Elizabeth begins to struggle as her food bag shrivels up. Sue and the man are getting intense when suddenly her nose begins to bleed. Heading to the room, she makes a rash decision and extracts more fluid out of Elizabeth to continue the one-night stand. However, as the man unzips her bodysuit, her organs begin to fall out, showing that her time is up. Elizabeth wakes up to see Sue next to her. Elizabeth heads out to the living room to see that it is daylight. She finds a note from the guy on the window and reaches out to take it. Suddenly, she notices her dehydrated blackened finger and panics. She also sees that Sue extracted more fluid from her than required. She calls the substance company and tries to ask them how to reverse it. They tell her that it's not possible and that she must maintain a balance between her time as Sue and Elizabeth. Elizabeth heads out to take the refill kit sent to her. She hears some voices and after getting the parcel, runs away. Entering a cafe, she orders a latte. An old man speaks to her, telling her that seven days is a long time. She notices the same purple mark on his hand, revealing him as the nurse. The man tells her that it gets lonely and that it's hard to remember that they deserve to exist as their real selves. Elizabeth is scared and leaves, but he asks her, has she started yet, eating away at you? Scared, Elizabeth heads home, where she finds Fred's number. Remembering how he thought she was still beautiful, she calls him up and sets up a date for that night. Later, she gets ready, but notices the billboard of Sue outside. Wanting to look like her, she puts on more makeup. But before she's ready to leave, she catches a glimpse of herself in the doorknob where she looks ugly. Horrified, she angrily rubs her face, removing the makeup, and decides not to meet Fred. Instead, she indulges in food. Next, Sue prepares for a show again, where she looks incredible. However, during her dancing, she suddenly feels something protruding out of her butt. She stops the show, and while the directors gather around to see what is on the replay, Sue hurries to her dressing room. She pushes a bulge up to her belly button and extracts a chicken leg from it. Suddenly, Sue wakes up realizing it was all just a dream. Sue sees that Elizabeth has been binge eating and throws all the food into the trash. Heading to do her show, she finds that nothing is set up. Harvey calls for her, and while Sue is scared, he tells her that they want her to host the New Year's Eve show. Sue is so happy to hear this. Later, Sue begins to take more and more of Elizabeth's spinal fluid, each time promising that it's just one day. Many days pass, and when Sue gives Elizabeth her body back, Elizabeth screams in distress. Sue's constant extractions and keeping Elizabeth's body had caused Elizabeth's body to deteriorate much faster. With wrinkly, dehydrated skin, cracks, and baldness, she looks significantly older than she is. Elizabeth complains to the company, and they offer to let her know how to stop it. However, Elizabeth refuses, knowing that she will lose everything. Later, Elizabeth, watching the television, struggles to get up due to her frail body. She retrieves Harvey's gift, which turns out to be a cookbook. Suddenly, Sue appears on a talk show host. Elizabeth gets angrier and angrier at Sue while she uses the cookbook. At one point, Sue is asked about Elizabeth, and she insults her, calling her fitness program Jurassic Fitness. Elizabeth, now enraged, decides to eat more to punish Sue. Next, Sue learns that Elizabeth has been eating a lot and gets angry. She decides to never switch back. Angrily, she takes out all the fluid from Elizabeth's body, telling her that she's just bitter that Sue has it all. For three months, Sue keeps herself alive with the stabilizer and enjoys her life. Her New Year's Eve show is plastered on the billboard in front of her house. A man hugs her from behind, 
telling her to come to bed. She promises she will and goes to the bathroom to get more fluid. However, she finds that Elizabeth has been completely drained. She calls the substance company and they tell her to switch back to Elizabeth to continue. Her nose begins to bleed and she collapses but manages to crawl her way to the bathroom. As Elizabeth awakens, the man approaches the bathroom, having heard all of the noises. Elizabeth locks the door before the man can come inside. As she turns to look at the mirror, she sees a horrible sight, a bald head, shriveled skin, completely weak and a hunchback. She tells the man to leave and hearing her raspy voice, he runs out the door. Elizabeth tells the substance company that she wants to stop. They deliver the termination fluid to her. Before she can insert it, she hears the company tell her that she will exist just on her own now. Fighting through the voices, she injects the syringe into Sue's chest. She begins inserting it, however. Looking at Sue's perfect face, she realizes that Sue helps her. Keep her dreams alive. She knows that the New Year's Eve show tonight needs Sue. Suddenly, she removes the syringe and tries to revive Sue. However, this time, both of them awaken at the same time and look at each other in horror. Elizabeth's consciousness has somehow split into two. Sue notices the termination syringe on the floor and attacks Elizabeth, smashing her head against a painting. Elizabeth manages to escape to the bathroom and Sue, in her rage, manages to break the door down. She causes Elizabeth to hit her head against the sink and grabs her, forcing her to look in the mirror. She bashes Elizabeth's head into the mirror multiple times. Elizabeth crawls to the living room, but Sue manages to catch up and hits her multiple times until she dies. Sue realizes what she has done, but decides to leave for the show. Next, Sue gets ready for the show, but begins to feel unwell. She heads to the bathroom where she loses her front teeth. She realizes that she's deteriorating, which causes her to sob. She remembers she has some activator serum left over and decides to produce another version of herself. Heading through the halls, she finds Harvey with all the stakeholders of the show. He asks if she's okay, and she nods, trying to look happy. He tells her to smile, but due to her missing teeth, she can only manage a tight-lipped smile. When she reaches the elevator, she loses a fingernail while pressing the button, and then loses an ear. Sue manages to rush to the apartment and injects herself with the activator, which is only for single use. As she injects herself, she collapses, and the new form rises. However, this version is Monstro Elisa Sue, a deformed hybrid of both Elizabeth and Sue, with Elizabeth's face on its back. The deformed version tries to dress itself, but she looks horrible. She forces an earring into her thick skin and tries to curl her hair but finds it burned. Improvising, she chooses to cut out a portrait face of Elizabeth to wear to the show. In a plot twist of the century, no one questions this, and all the dancers are sent to the stage. As Elisa Xu goes on stage, the mask falls off, revealing the horrible state that she is in. A breast falls out of the monster's side, causing the crowd to erupt into chaos. As people scream and run, Elisa Xu tries to convince them that they're still the same. However, she's shoved and pushed to the ground. Harvey decapitates Elisa Sue but finds that her body grows another head. Elisa Sue then begins spinning and covers everyone with a lot of blood. As the people panic, Elisa Sue begins trying to escape. Once outside, she tries running but ends up exploding everywhere. Only Elizabeth's head is left among the body parts, and Elizabeth uses her last strength to crawl to her star on the Walk of Fame. As she looks at the three palm trees and the stars above, she manages to imagine that glitter is falling on her. And one last time, she is loved by the people. She imagines being young again, with everyone appreciating her beauty. With this sweet thought comforting her, Elizabeth melts where her star is into a pool of blood that slips through the cracks. The next morning, a cleaner wipes away all the blood, leaving her star to shine once more. The end. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.